Hey guys, me here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I get ready for Valentine's Day. I know this video is a little late, but you can always wear this makeup look on a night out with your girlfriends or even on a first date. So without further ado, let's begin. First, I'm going to start off with eye makeup. So I'm going to use my eyeshadow primer and this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. To make the pink eyeshadow stand out more, I'm going to use a pink base, so this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Crayon in the shade Pink Parfait. Apply this all over your lids, then gently spread it out with your fingers. For today's look, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and I'm going to pick up this shade called Strange, and I'm going to apply it underneath my brows as the highlight. With my blending brush, I'm going to pick up this shade called Nooner and I'm going to deposit this color right in my crease. Not only does this serve as a transition color, it'll also give your eyes more dimension. Using the synthetic brush that comes with the palette, I'm going to pick up this shade called Trick and I'm going to apply this right over the pink base. Now this particular shade has a lot of fallout, so what I like to do is I like to pat it on to the sticky base. With a pencil brush, I'm going to go into a darker color called Factory and I'm going to place this color along my lower lash line and I'm also going to pull it up and create a V at the end. Using the same pencil brush, I'm going to go into the darkest shade called Black Heart and this is a dark plum color. I'm going to place this in the outer corner and then I'm going to grab a blending brush and blend it out. To define my eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shuomura Eyelash Curler and then I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and apply this to my top and bottom lashes. For my waterline, I'm going to use my Tarte Lash Liner. And to bring some light to my eyes, I'm going to use this shade called Dust and apply this along my inner tear duct. This part is optional, but I always finish off my makeup looks with false lashes, so here I'm using the Esquito Lashes called VFF. After the glue dries, you want to curl them together to bind them with your real lashes. So here's the completed look. I really like it and I think it looks great on people with mono lids or double lids. It's really interesting because it can look purple, pink, or taupe depending on which angle you look at it. And now moving on to face. So for foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion and I'm in the shade W3. This is a really lightweight and hydrating foundation so lately I haven't even been using powder over it because I really like the luminous glow. Next, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter Concealer and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. This highlighter is really easy to blend so I just use my fingers and it does the job. For blush, I'm going to keep it really subtle so I'm going to use the Benefit Hervana Blush and this is great for an everyday blush because it's matte and it gives your cheeks a natural flush. Next, I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm and I'm going to sweep this above my cheekbones and also on the bridge of my nose. Since I want my eye makeup to be the focus, I'm going to use a neutral lipstick and this is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Daringly Nude. For my hair, I'm going to tie it into a ponytail and then curl the ends with a curling iron. Now if you watched the beginning of this video, you'll notice that my hair was in a knot braid. I actually forgot to film it, but if you guys want, I'll put a link to that tutorial in the video description below. This is just my quick way of curling hair because when you're done, you just remove the elastic band and you've got curled hair. So for my outfit, I decided to stick with the Valentine's theme and I wore a pink dress and also paired it with a pink purse because as you know, I'm girly like that. I also really like this dress because of the lace detailings, it's really feminine and I also like the fact that it's big and swingy because it's accommodating for my groin belly since I am 
three months pregnant, guys. <laughs> I've been keeping this secret for so long, but I just passed my first trimester and I'll definitely update you guys on another vlog. But yes, I am pregnant. So this Valentine's, we're adding a little love to our family and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me and baby a big thumbs up and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos and don't forget to check out my previous tutorials.